I thought I would do a really quick video on what you can learn about your soil just from touching it. So it is important to get in there, to get down right into your soil, to get to know it. So I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to grab a handful of soil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to squeeze it back and forth in my hands like this. All right. And what I'm doing is I'm te first testing the water holding capacity of the soil. So what I'm noticing is that yes, it is starting to clump up, which is great. So that means that it is able to hold water because it's held together. I can even hold it up and it doesn't crumble. But now if I just carefully press on it, it does crumble. And this is a great soil texture. This means that it holds water and it also crumbles. So that means that it also drains well. So this is, that's, that's a great sign right there that this, this is holding water. So why is it holding water? Well, there are three different kinds of particles in soil. They are three different sizes. There is sand, which is the largest particle, silt, which is the medium sized particle, and then clay, which is a teeny, teeny, tiny particle. And all three of them have different roles to play in your soil. And at the extremes, the sand is what helps soil drain. The particles are really big and therefore water drains between them really quickly. And one of the ways that you know if you have sand, there's a couple ways. First, you can look, it's the biggest particle. And I don't know if you can see some of the particles of sand in here, but I can see it with my bare eyes. And if I can't see it, they might be smaller sand particles. So if you were to rub it between your fingers, it might feel gritty. That means that there's sand that is present. And if you can't quite feel it, let's say, you might even put it up to your ear and squeeze. And if you hear a kind of like frictiony sound, like sandpaper, that means you've got sand in your soil. So we've got sand present. Uh, in the middle, there is a medium sized particle uh, called silt. And silt feels very silky to your hands. And so when you kind of feel it and you start to feel like there's a silky presence in your soil, you know there's silt in it. The other way you know by feel is if after you handle the soil and uh, if you have a lot of, of uh, brown material that doesn't come off your hand, that means there's a lot of silt available in the soil. I, my hand is totally clean, this one. This one has a little bit of darkness to it, but that's not actually silt. Silt is a little bit browner. So I, there's very little silt in this particular soil. And then at the other end of the spectrum is clay. And so clay is what holds moisture into uh, the soil. And so you wanna balance that with the sand particles that help to drain it. So you want some clay particles present as well. So how can you tell if you have some present? Well, the first way, like I mentioned, when you squeeze it, and it does tend to squeeze together. Think about your clay class or your pottery class, or if you've seen people with pottery, uh, you know how that clay really sticks together. It's kind of rubbery, right? So if it sticks together, that means there is some clay there. But how much clay is present? So the next thing you can test if you want to see how much clay is present is a ribbon test. And what you want to do is take the soil and you press it between your hands. Sorry for the plane going right over my head. I'll pause for just a moment. Wow, I am right in the flight pattern. <laughs> All right, so I squeezed it again. I squeezed the soil, it's now pretty solid. And if I put it in my hand and I use my, my first finger and my thumb and I press the soil out in between, it'll start to form a ribbon. Now in this case, the ribbon barely forms and then it falls off the tip of my hand. Now what that means is there's very little clay present. If you have a clay soil and you do this and you press it out like this, it won't go very, it, it'll, it'll extend even potentially down the whole side of your hand. And that's how you know you've got a lot of clay present. All right, so that's a little bit about clay uh, by feel. So get on out there and get intimate with your soil and uh, touch it, feel it, smell it, listen to it, see what's present in your soil. All right, see you on the next video.